Hello and thank you for watching Fishing in Germany. Um, it's been a couple months since I've posted a video and it's been a couple months since I caught anything. I have been pretty busy since October um, recording a new album with my band so that's taken a lot of my time. Though I still manage to get to the river, not daily but pretty close. Just the sessions have been a lot shorter, you know, an uh, hour or two here and there when I can squeeze in the time. And also this time of year, we're in the middle of winter. It's um, less daylight, less opportunities to get out to the river. Um, so yeah, I had um, the last fish I caught was, I think it was the 27th of October. It was a nice pike. And then I had no fish November. And then I had don't catch shit December. It was really a rough couple months. Um, Today's the, the 2nd of January, 2019, and I think the last three or four days straight I've been fishing, at least three, two to three to four hours in the evenings, into just into dark usually, and then I'll pack up. And for the most part, it's been really dead. Um, we finally got uh, some rain a few weeks ago, quite a bit, I think a week straight of rain where the river was almost flooded. It was the highest it's been since the beginning of the year which also made the current very strong. You're going to see, I have, I have recorded some footage over the last couple of months, so you're going to see some from like the start of winter uh, of these different conditions and some tips of how to deal with them, even though I didn't catch anything. And also, any advice on this stuff, if someone's watching, they have some tricks, I don't know, that feel free to share them. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically, when it's like that, you just got to keep trying different methods uh, and you just keep trying. Eventually, you'll you'll break your blink. Um, what happened is finally on New Year's Eve, uh, I was trying everything, like I said. I tried uh, bottom fishing, feeder fishing, cage feeders, method feeders, boilies, corn, maggots, worms, dead bait, floats, wagglers, bread, you name it. Um, you just gotta keep trying different things. And I had some of these uh, mini pellets. They're like 2D fruity flavor, I don't remember the brand. But I had some luck on them last year in the beginning of the year. The only thing with those would I, would I had with me was um, the only way to rig them were these pre-made hooks by Baltzer. And they're like a really short, like three, four inch hook link. Let's get the camera to focus. And it's just got like a rubber band on a hair rig to hold the pellet. That was the only thing I had on me to rig a pellet, to uh, put a, use a pellet as bait. I had some luck with them before. I believe I caught like a bream or a chub with them. And the last fish I caught with them was the beginning of the year, of last year. And it was a good carp and during the fight the hook link broke. So I was really frustrated with these. And I think I actually bought another pack that had bigger hook and a little bit th heavier line on it. I was using one of those uh, New Year's Eve. And I finally got a really good run. I had the reel, the drag totally open, and the pull on a bite alarm, resting on a bite alarm. And it was running, and as soon as I was able to pick it up to start to tighten the drag, gone. I was kind of shocked, because it, it's weird to lose a fish after it's running that long. Uh, I reeled in, and the hook link broke right at the knot of the loop. So I was ready to just throw these away, but basically instead I just took them apart and rebuilt them. Used the little rubber band and used the hook and used my own line to tie my own hair rigs, which that's all I'm gonna do for now. And I every I don't like this pre-bought, pre-made rigs. They are expensive and they suck. Um, actually a couple days before that I lost a fish though from a knot failure. It was an old hook I had tied that I just threw on real quick, a worm hook and had something and the knot failed. That was my fault. But um, normally I don't have that problem. But yeah, it's just kind of like a lot of bad luck, it seemed like, for the last couple months. And finally yesterday, New Year's Day, I broke the blank and I caught a, it was a 50 centimeter chub, I think 1.7 kilo, which is about four pounds. So a nice fat chub, um, which was great. And what was kind of funny is I caught it, 
and reel it in, and I'm going to remove the hook, and I see a rubber band from a pellet rig, and I was like, wait, I didn't put one on the one I made. I used like a lasso knot. I looked closer, and it was my old hook from the day before, so it was the same damn fish that I lost that I caught the next day. So I was able to, here it is, get the hook out, and yeah, I'll just take this apart and tie my own, use braid or something to, that's what I used yesterday, and it worked fine. Uh, you can see it broke right at the very end. These are real short hook links, like four inches or so. Broke right where the knot is, so I don't know what the hell they're doing. Maybe they don't wet the knots before they tie them or something, or it's just a really crappy line, but I'll never use these again, that's for sure. <coughs> it's one of the most frustrating ways to lose a fish. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to finally break the blank. I've got some video of that you'll see at the end. The next is going to be, um, yeah, since I think the start of the winter, around like 20, right after the 21st of December. I did some footage just trying different things, showing the different conditions, giving some tips here and there. So I'm going to compile all those together in this video, and at the end you'll see the last fish I caught was chub. Today is my first day. I have to go back to work. Um, so by the time I get home, it's going to be dark. I won't probably go fishing today, but tomorrow I'll be back out there. And for this time of year, December, well now it's January. It's actually been really warm, abnormally warm. So it's like the last couple of days is up to even like seven or eight degrees. Um, as it cools down, I'm gonna expect to catch mostly chub and carp. Um, I'm still trying for pike, but I've had no luck with it using dead baits usually. So if, when I have two poles, most of the time I'm gonna have one out with, um, with like a cage feed or something and either maggot or pop-up boiler or corn and another line out with a dead bait ledgered. So I try my luck with that, but at the moment, I, there's no, you don't, I, I see no signs of any of the small um, bait fish. So I don't know where they're holding up or if they're just totally dormant, which it seems like usually this time of year. So that's, you gotta find those usually, and then you're gonna have a bit more luck finding the pike, or you might be lucky with a, a noisy lure or something like that. But uh, it, it's been pretty tough conditions lately, as you'll see in these videos just now the water's starting to kind of settle down the current's not so strong and fish are a bit more active because it's not so cold yet so um, i'll be back out there tomorrow for sure and hopefully now that i broke this blanking spree uh, i'll have better luck so that's it for now um thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the videos um thanks to my what is it 73 subscribers so far so this time of year like i said my daylight's limited so i get out there as much as i can just not as long sessions hopefully i have some more footage soon of me catching something um but also in this time of year it's where i usually you know endure a little bit more so so I do things like some gear maintenance, uh, cleaning out my tackle box, which gets always gets to be a mess no matter how clean I try to keep it. And um, I'm going to do some more videos soon of different rig tying methods I've learned or adjusted or found useful. Um, hopefully get people away from using this kind of shit because you're going to get frustrated with <laughs> losing fish. And these are a lot more expensive than just make it on your own. Um, so yeah. Check out the footage I got, and at the end you'll see that chub I caught. Um, Happy New Year, everyone, and stay tuned for more soon. Okay, so we're heading into the late fall now. It's uh, December 4th today, and uh, we got a lot of rain the last couple days, so the river's the highest it's been since I think last spring, um, which is good. We had very little rain all year in Germany and a lot of parts of Europe. Even the Rhine River is at like record low this year. Um, but actually, was just I had to take someone to a doctor's appointment just down the street, so I figured instead of waiting at a waiting room there, I'd come here and fish for maybe an hour or so. Um, these are probably like the toughest conditions on a river to fish in. The current's strong, which is not such a big deal, but there's so much debris in the water. There's so many dead leaves and branches and whatnot. 
Um, if I cast more than a few meters out, uh, the current is dragging my line against the bank, which, you know, I could put a heavier weight. That's not so much the issue, though. It's pretty much like almost instantly my hook is covered in dead leaves or a branch. So, um, about the only thing, only solution I could really find, because I'm bottom fishing, I've got a um, real simple setup. There's a method feeder here and a pop up boily on the left. And on the right, I just got a sliding weight and a um, circle hook with maggots. But really, the only solution I could find is to fish just right under my rod tips, really close to the bank. There's a little bit of a slowed current because of this tree in the water here and the kind of a recess here on the bank. Um, if I had more time, I would actually try to find it a little better spot. Except when it rains a lot, there's not as many options here because the roads get really bad and it's very easy to get stuck in the mud. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm actually curious if anyone has any suggestions or tips for fishing these kinds of conditions. Because um, this is about all I could find. I mean, I could try with a float. Uh, I don't think I have any in the tackle box I brought. And honestly, the current's so fast, it's just gonna, you see there's not a big opening between the trees here. So it would just be recasting over and over every couple seconds. Um, my theory and hope is that there's gonna be some fish right along the margin here. I should, in actuality, you'd be standing back a bit further so I'm not scaring them off. And uh, yeah, hopefully they're gonna be on the margins here trying to escape the current. And I keep an eye on the poles because you'll see a lot of movement when the leaves are on there. And once you start to see that, you know it's not a fish, that's when you know you've got a bunch of crap on the line to clean off. Other than that, I gotta check the lines really frequently to make sure my bait isn't covered with leaves. Um, but yeah, interested if anyone has any tips, suggestions on fishing these kinds of conditions. Uh, it's actually really warm for this time of year. Yesterday it was 10 degrees. It feels, I don't know, I didn't check the temperature today, but it's it's warm, for especially for December. Um, so yeah, I don't have high expectations and I'm not gonna be here that long. But like I said, it beats waiting in a doctor's office in a waiting room. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll be lucky and break this blanking spree I've been on for all of November actually um, and hopefully I mean I we're getting a break today and tomorrow from rain but I saw more rain in the forecast and it's usually around this time of year where we get the river to flood a bit um, but yeah I'm hoping to maybe be lucky with a carp or a chub today um, but Honestly, don't have very high expectations of catching any, anything in these conditions. But worth a try. Better than, like I said, better than just sitting around in a waiting room. All right, so winter is officially here. It's uh, December 24th, uh, a little after one o'clock. And I'm fishing in some really tough conditions today. Um, We've had rain for about a week straight. Today's the first day it stopped, so the river is higher than I've seen it since the beginning of the year. Um, what makes it really tough is the current's really strong. So I have the heaviest weight I had with me on this line, with a sliding 120 gram weight with a pop-up boilie. If I cast out more than a few meters, it just gets dragged along the bank. Um, so what I'm doing is fishing really close to the margin. I'm about right here, I think. You see it's kind of a pocket here where there's a break from the current where I'm hoping to find some fish. And even so, you can see the rod tip moving in the current with that heavy weight on. Um, there's a lot of leaves and debris in the water, so I gotta check my line pretty constantly. Um, but that's about the best I can do in these conditions. Only tricks I know. And Further down here, I've got a, I think I said a pop-up boilie on this line, so hoping to get a carp or a chub or maybe a bream. 
and down here I've got a I'm trying to get a pike and I've got a sprat on a single treble at the bottom here and I just cast it right into these almost directly below the rod tip right after these uh, trees here in the water see these branches with a bite alarm and I'll probably if I don't get anything in the next 20-30 minutes try some more of these little pockets here move around a bit I wasn't planning to move around I brought a lot of stuff but likely I parked close so I think that's about the best I can do um, it's pretty warm today actually for this time of year it's about six degrees it's been relatively warm for the last few weeks and i am kind of got limited access to where I can fish because the roads are really bad I don't want to get stuck in the mud again and yeah usually when I see movement like that it's just some leaves getting stuck usually on the weight but I have to check the line pretty frequently like I said just to make sure there's nothing stuck on the hook um, so yeah, I'll try this spot a few more, I don't know, another 20 minutes or so. And then kind of move down the river and try to find some more areas that are kind of protected from the current where the fish might be hiding up. Um, I've got a bit of ground bait, but really I don't think it's going to do a whole lot with the current so strong. But since I'm fishing this little pocket here, I'm going to keep throwing just a little bit out every once in a while. Um, pretty skeptical about catching anything today but I haven't caught anything since October so I gotta try and yeah I, I'm gonna try a few spots same tactic and hopefully get something so it's New Year's Eve here it's been a warm day like 8 degrees today it was sunny earlier now it's just getting into sunset. Been here for a few hours. Had one small bite on corn. Uh, I also had a pellet on a pellet band hair rig. And I just had a run on that. And had my drag totally open. And when I went to tighten the drag, gone. Reeled in and see the hook link had snapped. That's the second time that's happened to me with these particular hooks. They were cheap, which is probably why. Usually it's a decent brand, but I will be throwing these away. <laughs> um, the hook link broke right at the knot, so it's just ridiculous. I mean, there was no tension on it. Last time it broke on me, I was during a fight with a carp. I believe that was a carp too that I lost. Um, so I tied my own rig. I didn't have little rubber bands. I had took one off of here and that actually broke trying to put it around the pellet. So um, I've got a pop-up boilie out with corn on the hook and cage feeder and a method feeder with uh, a pellet on it. But yeah, it's been really rough even yesterday I had a few bites but nothing um, fish are a bit more they were active yesterday not so much today but I'm gonna stay another 20 30 minutes I guess and try to get the last fish of the year but um just a reminder don't buy this crap it's so much easier to make it yourself and every time I've used it I regret it um, I'll do a video soon of how I'm going to make these hair rigs with a pallet band because the pallets I'm using actually have been pretty good. It's just these, it's the only way I have to rig it. If I use a baiting needle, they usually snap in half. I'm going to give that a try real quick again because I don't have anything else with me here. Um, but yeah, I think that probably just scared off all the fish having one run like that. And it's a bit too late to bother moving. But yeah, that's end out of end of 2018, so hopefully it'll be better tomorrow, New Year.
Jim. are not very good to eat, so I'm going to get a picture of them and weigh them and throw them back. Ah, uh, finally, it feels so good after blinking two damn months straight. Lost a fish yesterday on one of these pre-made pellet band hair rigs that were crap. Snapped on the run. This guy put up a pretty good fight, though. Awesome. Alright, so after two months of blinking, Last fish I caught was October 27th. Finally got a nice 50 centimeter chub today. Just a little while ago, 10 minutes ago. Just before dark here. And I actually caught the same fish yesterday. I had a decent run on this line and I had a pre-made hook link from Baltzer. One of these like pallet hair rig bands. I had the drag totally open and during the run it snapped the hook link, which is ridiculous. And that's the second time I've lost a fish because of those hooks. So I didn't throw them away, I just took them apart and re-rigged them with braid. I made a new one today and caught the same fish I lost yesterday. I know because I found the old hook in his lip still. Um, just before I started this video I had a my bite alarm go off on my other pole with a pop-up boilie, but didn't take. So, uh, it's starting to get dark, it's starting to even rain a little bit, but um, I think I'll stay here another 10-15 minutes. But, um, first day of 2019 and a good start. It's especially good after blanking so long and losing a couple runs yesterday. It's the worst when you lose one because uh, the <laughs> hooks you buy are crap. Um, a couple days ago I lost one too because my knot failed and that's I had like just changed my rig in a hurry and I had an old pre-made just a worm hook on and I tied the knot bad apparently so I lost that one as well so it's always good to get over a long blanking spree like this and today it was totally dead I've been here for mm, maybe two hours and not a single bite yesterday I was getting a few small bites and finally got that chub so I'm very happy about that I'll stay a little longer see if I can get anything else but either way it's a good way to start the new year so I made a few videos over the last few weeks on winter fishing since I didn't catch anything it's kind of boring to post those I guess but I'm gonna get those compiled together and have this uploaded in the next day or two thanks for watching oh there we go again Come on, come on, come on. Don't know what that is, but it's a pop-up way they're on there. Pretty big one. Uh, temperature's still warm for this time of year, but... Um, uh, this time of year, I'm usually catching a lot of chub, some carp. So, yeah, I mean, it's the second bite in the last 10 minutes, so um, I'll stick it out a little bit longer. Maybe I can get one more. Hopefully, I got I got the last one I caught on my GoPro, but um, 
it was, I really didn't want to lose it, and so I had to turn it on kind of halfway through fighting it, and hopefully my jacket didn't cover up the camera like it tends to do. But I'll get home in a bit and check those out and put them together to upload.